I'm often asked why I travel and live in nature. Well, to keep it simple, traveling saved my life. Three years ago, I made a choice to live for the very first time in my life by traveling full time and being around nature. I decided I needed to travel and work on my mental health and share my passions with others. Traveling has provided me a new way to perceive life and discover who I truly am. Traveling and being in nature has saved my life. Little one, you ready to go for a hike? More like, are you ready to ride in a backpack when mama goes for a hike? With your big blue cone? Okay, let's load up. Stay. Stay. I know. Thank God for the tailgate table. Can you say hey to everyone? Well, today's video is going to be a little different than normal because I'm dealing with high winds and I want to show this beautiful area that I'm in and just real quick I'm down here by the Virgin River Virgin River but it's a beautiful place but because I'm dealing with high winds it's hard for me to film so meaning it's hard for me to talk so it's gonna be a little different video but I've been wanting to make this video this kind of video for a little bit now especially since there's a lot of new people to the channel and everything and share what I'm so passionate about and that's the outdoors and nature and just the peace and serenity of it that's why I started traveling. I mean, look at this. I managed to do a little hike today up a mountain and uh, nobody's out here. So I could come enjoy some peace and quiet and get my therapy in. And that's what this is to me, is therapy. It's 
the best therapy. It's been the only therapy that could ever help me. <laughs> so, today's video, I'm just going to be showing a couple of clips of the area and uh, share with you guys that way and let you guys kind of get a feel of what I feel with nature. And maybe you guys can understand a little bit better why it's my therapy and why it has helped me so much. So I'm just gonna share a little bit of clips of a couple of areas around here. I share this beautiful place. I feel like I could be traveling so I'm 100 years old and still not see it all. We live in a freaking beautiful, beautiful country, guys. Beautiful country. Look, I found a... Oh, why am I having a brain freeze right now? These little trees. There's a whole forest of them out there. you guys there's the ATV going up the mountain it's the same trail I just had to come up so yeah that's about it just want to share with you guys a few clips of this place and with it being such a beautiful place maybe you guys can kind of get the vibe of why I do this um, I started traveling for my mental health and between traveling and being in nature and YouTube, believe it or not, I think really saved my life. And I know what you guys are saying. YouTube? How did YouTube save your life? I was a very depressed person. And I've had a rough life. I'm not going to get into all of it, but you know, I grew up in foster care system. I've been through some pretty rough stuff and uh, recently just went through some tragic things a few years ago and I've never really been happy. I never really thought anybody really ever cared about me. Yes, I had lots of friends, lots of associates. But, I'm going to be honest with you guys, when everything happened with my dad, with him committing suicide in front of me, my friends dropped off the face of the earth. They were not there for me. Very few. And their excuses were... Well, we didn't know what to say with something like that. Don't say anything, just come be with me. So, I lost a lot of friends because when all that happened with my dad, and my two best friends afterwards. I had strangers reaching out to me, <laughs> which I'm very good friends with now. And yeah. And then growing up in the foster care and group home system, you know, when I was a kid, obviously you feel like you have nobody that cares about you. As so now, I have this YouTube channel and I got thousands of you guys that seem to care about me, genuinely care about me. And I've never had a feeling like that before, ever. Um, so every day when I wake up, the first thing I do is I go read those comments under all my videos because 95% of the comments 
are all positive and all nice. And that makes me feel amazing. I've never, ever, ever felt like I've had so many people care for me and support me. And that's why I say YouTube has changed my life also. I know that's hard for some of you guys to understand, but I know it sounds weird. <laughs> Well, I know some people don't understand and they don't get it why I've decided to just go live in nature for the past three years and for many more years, probably for the rest of my life. But this is why. Nature to me is one of the most beautiful things and one of the most peaceful things in the whole universe. This is my serenity.
the best decision I could have ever done or made was what I'm doing now. Traveling and being with nature. Now I know this isn't everybody's cup of tea, but it's my cup of tea. And honestly, my whole entire life, I've always felt at peace, surrounded in nature. Every time I'd feel stressed out, depressed, I'd go do a hike or I'd go camp. And everything would just go away. I think if I would not have done what I'm doing right now, given up a whole life that I had, a 10 year career, a house, to basically just go be houseless and live in my vehicle and travel around these states and surrounding myself in nature. If I would not have done this, I think I would have had a mental breakdown. <clears throat> I was dealing with depression on a daily basis every single day and I try to keep myself busy with work or off-roading or hiking just trying to never be at home because if I was at home I was alone and I was depressed so I always kept myself busy <clears throat> and I never really faced anything. I never came to terms with anything that ever happened. I'm 46 years old and I never even faced my past from my childhood days or my teenage days. You know, just I never dealt with it. I always just put it on the back burner and try to forget it. And I tell you, I was so good about trying to forget my past and everything that happened and how I grew up that I literally almost forgot about a lot of it. Since I've started this traveling, and being in nature is one of the things I did. I had to think about my past because I had to come to terms to it with it. Life isn't easy and it definitely wasn't easy for me. But all I can do now is look at the present in the future and live in the present and the future. I've come face to face with my past. I've come face to face with what happened to my dad. And I've come face to face with losing my best friends. Have I accepted any of it? No. Will I ever accept any of it? No. But I've worked on it. And in order for me to get better mentally, I needed to come face to face with everything. And what better way to do that than where I'm at peace in nature? I always said, I never understood why I was dealt such a bad hand in life for my whole entire life. From the time I basically came on this earth until almost three years ago when I started traveling. 
just couldn't understand it. It seemed like every single year, every year of my life was a horrible thing. Something bad happened. I remember more bad than I do good. But those times are gone. Since I've been able to think about those times and process everything, I've learned to actually move on with my life now. And that's exactly what I'm doing is moving on with my life. That was the old Sarah and my old past. And here's the new Sarah right here. And I'm excited to see what the future holds for me because these past couple of years since I've been doing this has been nothing but positive things with a little bit of ups and downs, but mostly positive. It's the best life I've ever had, ever, in my whole 46 years. And this is why I do what I do.